Sally's with two women who've got uh, some <laughs> opinions on this topic. Sal? Yes, we have all the opinions. Thanks, guys. I'm joined by uh, Women's Health Editor Felicity Harley and Shelley Horton from Shellshock Media. Ladies, Hi. this Hi. actually will be the rest of the show, this yeah. segment, <laughs> and was correct. Um, what women really want, Shell? Let's start off with you. Can we be bought on Valentine's Day? Look, I don't think it's about being bought. I think it's about having choices. So when I was single, I would have an anti-Valentine's Day party <laughs> with my girlfriends, and we would have the best time. <laughs> Now that I'm married, my husband always buys me flowers, but he buys them on the 13th because he knows the thing that makes me happy is posting on social media before anyone else. So I get to put the flowers up today. Right. Okay. <laughs> now, Felicity, obviously, like a good chocolate cake, women are very complex. We're layered. <laughs> yes, yes. But when it comes to career, I mean, what do we really want, aside from a pay rise? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah unlike yeah. one of those. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, I think women want, well, in many ways, we want everything. And I think we put so much pressure on ourselves to want everything. And, and like, when I was on Matt Lee, people were saying, when are you coming back to work? When are you going to have baby number three? Like, and, and society puts this pressure on us ourselves. And so Sometimes I just think we need to give ourselves a bit of a break mm. and, uh, and be, be thankful for what we've actually achieved, especially in the career space. I think it's easy to get caught up in, you know, we want a pay increase because we've got that 18.2% pay gap between men and women. But I don't think that takes into account that women take maternity leave yeah. and opt out of their career for a bit. And also that often women are more attracted to industries that don't, that don't pay as well. So I think... It's very easy to be black and white about it, but it's actually much more complex. On the issue of starting a family, I mean, it's obviously a, a, an issue that comes up again and again because not every woman has the yeah. same point of view when it comes to family. Well, in my case in particular, I've you know spoken about this, is I don't choose to have children and that is a, a conscious decision. I still get trolled every couple of weeks, maybe once a month, someone will go online and just really have a go at mm. me saying that, I'm not a woman if I don't have kids, that I'm destroying family values. And I just think that we all need to be a bit nicer to each other yeah. and understand that it's okay to make choices. And I see my, my I love my nephews, but I see my sister-in-law with the kids and I'm like, oh, I don't wanna work that hard. Like, that's really hard I work. think that all the time about myself when I look at myself yeah. I think this is a lot of work. The other thing I think is that, you know, look, I'm all for choices and, and I'm a feminist at heart, so I hate saying this, but sometimes I think have we done ourselves a disservice yeah. by having too many choices. I mean, the, if you look at the Australian Wellbeing Index that was done um, two years ago, women actually are unhappier now than we were, say, 30 years ago. So is this providing us with too many things? And, and I know I get a bit overwhelmed, I have a bit of analysis paralysis where I think, well, I don't know what to do. Like, there's this and this and this. I want it all. And, and when does it stop? But and the pressure to have it all. I look at those studies and go, 30 or 40 years ago, did we really even know what mental health was? Did we really answer those surveys correctly? We probably were a bit more, you know, you, know, you just sort of suck it up and, and move on. Well, Whereas that's, now... That's it. We should just, maybe we should just suck it up more and move on. Maybe. I mean, the fact that between the three of us, we can't really decide what we <laughs> yeah, no, What no. hope have the blokes got? They're I sitting know, at home right. thinking, I, well... All I want for Valentine's Day is to not do any housework, to not wash the dishes, put the washing out. I just want to put my feet up. Who cares about the roses? I'd rather hundred dollars spent on a new pair of Nikes. And I'd rather extend oh. that out to not just Valentine's Day, that yeah, is just how I want to be yeah. the rest of my life. And if my husband buys me ni Nikes, it's over. <laughs> just telling you now, it's all about Nikes, choice. Nikes, thanks Tom. <laughs> there you go. What women want, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, even after a representative sample of three women. Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. more confused than ever, and I am one. Uh, so, uh, good luck, blokes. Good luck to you. Felicity, I totally agree that most wives or partners want their male partners to be doing more housework. Yeah, that, I mean, that, that, mm, women that, do know what they want. But is that necessarily... Do they want them doing it on Valentine's Day? Is it actually sexy yeah. to see someone <laughs> stacking the dishwasher? Yes, it is. If it's yes, just really? in their apron. Off. It's right. a proven right. thing. There's a study that men who you know, help out with the dishwasher, get other help at times. They didn't bring the survey, <laughs> didn't bring the survey to our place. <laughs> it's a study. I've read it. Yeah. It's a fact. All right. Thank you, Sal. Thanks, Shell. Thanks, Felicity.